What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video, it's Mango Juice here. So today's video is new. Um, as you can see in the title, it's not a free handle video. It's what I said I was going to do. Um, that I was going to interview a poisonous spider. So today we're going to be interviewing an immature brown widow spider. So here we're just going to be talking about facts about uh, the brown widow. As you can see, the reason I say immature is a juvenile, which is a young, this is a young brown widow. Um, if we could get to like two likes, we probably will interview a male or a full adult brown widow. Um, so in this video, we're just going to be talking about facts about it. We're going to say things that you didn't know. It's like Coyote Peterson video, 10 facts about volcano ants or the murder hornets, which the murder hornets are the Asian giant hornet or the Japanese giant hornet, which both are toxic, I think. But let's not talk about that. We're going to be talking about this. So here we're going to about to start. So guys, um, the brown widow is slightly smaller than the black widow. But like it has like more color than the black widow. Because you guys know that the black widow is like all black. The brown widow, on the other hand, has brown. Um, it's brown, but it has black markings. Sometimes you can have gray markings. Um, it has red markings when it's young, most like all the widow spiders, until they're full grown, they have their hourglass. But the brown widow has, and its hourglass has some gray shading, some geometricus gray shading, at least that's what I read. Um, these spiders are more shy than black widows, um, but they're... I, um, I checked this, they're three times more poisonous than the Black Widow, but they rarely bite, their bite is rarely life-threatening fatal, which its bite could kill you, but it's really rare because, like, they just bite you like that. It doesn't put any venom or anything, and the Black Widow does put a lot of venom, which the Black Widow could kill you. Um, the reason that they say that the brown widow could cure you, which, this is true, like in the 1960s or 70s, like, 150 people, I could be wrong, um, died from the bite of this spider and all that. Um, it's cousin to the most infamous, which I think means famous, infamous spider, also known as Latrodectus mechans, which is the southern black widow. Which that one is the most poisonous black widow in the in the Latrodectus family? Um, let's see what else. And then um, its name is Latrodectus geometricus. I think I mentioned in the video. Um, I don't know what it means. Um, you could find them in Australia, South Africa, the Caribbean islands, Florida, Hawaii, uh, Cyprus and North America. That's where you could find the brown widow. So I'd suggest if you guys live there, be careful, be aware. And if you find it, put it somewhere else. Like, like, um, let's just say it's in your house. Take it and put it like, if you live next, close to a forest, put it in a forest. Latrodectus means widow, I think. Um, here's a fact. Did you know a female brown widow could grow up to 12 to 16 millimeters? While a male could grow to 6 to 8 millimeters. Isn't that in, uh, interesting? Um, soon, well, not very soon, like the next video. Like in the future, I might free handle these guys, and then probably soon I'm gonna get bitten by it. And what I'm planning in this video, you guys don't try this at home. Don't ever. Not at your friend's house, not at school, not anywhere. Don't try and get bitten by the whole Latrodectus species. That's what I'm going to do. And I hope that nothing bad happens to me. I hope you guys wish me luck because I'm going to be doing these crazy stuff. Uh, next video we might do in the adult as I said. Or the male. If we could find them. Because they're under these cars that I have. Right here that my dad has. So, Yeah. Um, the, what I'm going to say right here is three um, ways how to identify a brown widow. Number one, 
um, identify them by their color because they have black markings in their back, but they have like brownish gray patterns on them. So that's how you could identify them. And number two, brown widows and black widows have different distinct hourglasses. If you check them closely, there might be pictures right here. It shows how their hourglass look like. They're very different. They're not the same. And number three, they have dark bends on their legs and then the black widows don't. So here's another picture, the difference. And number four, the females will be one inch to one and a half inch. Well, sometimes the males will be one fourth, I think, to three fourths. And number five, they have spiky egg sacs. Um, there's a picture right here of how they look like. That's a brown widow's egg sac and all that. And they could produce 120 to 150 eggs. And number six, look for cobweb spiders because people m mistaken cobweb spiders to brown widow spiders. So always make sure to check the cobweb spiders. And because, yeah, you have to always like check a, um, the difference because cobweb spiders don't have the hourglass, while the brown widow spiders do have the hourglass. And that's all the interesting facts. I know I said three, I meant six. Um, and yeah. And another fact is that these spiders are not as aggressive as the black widow. If if you check, if you like put them two together, black widow is more aggressive than the brown widow. Then again, brown widows are more shy than black widows. Um, I don't know why. At least that's what experts say. Okay, guys, this is all for this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And if we get to a few likes, I might, you know, interview the male or the f adult. So. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you dudes. See you all dudes. You see? I'll see you all dudes in the next video. Peace out, y'all.